Today, Kevin and I have three cookies. new to us, or cookies, I'm, I'm sure they've been around for a while at Tesco, uh, but we did not get them when we were in the United mm -hmm. Kingdom. So and it's not like we have a Tesco around us. Right, so Jeff <laughs> was kind enough to pick these up and mail them to us. Thank, mm -hmm. you, Thank you very, very much, Jeff. Uh, this is the Tesco Malted Milk Biscuits. And I have Tesco Almond Fingers and Tesco Bourbon Cream Biscuits. And we can do these in any order you want. I figured we'd start with the malted uh -huh. biscuits because they look like they would be the plainest. You want to open them? Uh, this is what Jeff says. Tesco Malted Milk Biscuits. Malted Milk Biscuits are a very old-fashioned biscuit from my childhood. Originally made in 1924, they are named after the malt flavoring and milk content. As a child, I didn't like them, but as a rapidly aging adult, I love them. Each supermarket has its own version as well as branded labels such as Fox's, but they are all pretty much the same. They are ideal for dunking in tea. I'm wondering if we've tried the, the Fox's version because we have tried, I think, a lot of the Fox's biscuits. I think Sarah sent us a bunch. Okay, so. Um, there are, per biscuit, there are 40, I think I said 43. Mm hmm. 43. Too tiny for me. 43 calories each. Okay, that tastes like a club cracker. That's what I think. I think so too. You thought too, so too? Yes. That tastes just like a Keebler club cracker mm -hmm. <laughs> over here. Mm-hmm. That tastes more like a cracker than a biscuit. Mm-hmm, it does. That's funny. Now, can I imagine that being good dunked in tea? Yes. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, but it does taste like one of our buttery crackers mm -hmm. rather than a than a, a biscuit. A biscuit, yeah, it really does. But I like it. A club cracker is kind of like a Ritz, but it's a it's a it's a square, a rectangular cracker. It's not as buttery. It's not quite as buttery as a Ritz. It, so, yeah, but, but it's, it's still very. But it's bad. butterier than like a salt, just a plain salted saltine cracker. Right. So, yeah, those are really good though. Yeah, I like those. I like those. And we've been drinking more and more tea lately, so that'll be perfect. Yeah, we don't dip stuff thing. normally. So. No, but that'll be good. Okay, these are the bourbon cream biscuits. They are a chocolate biscuit sandwich with a chocolate cream filling, originally made in 1910. They are also very good for dunking. Again, all supermarkets have their own. And these are 66 calories each. Thank you, open without tearing it too, yeah. too off of that. Yeah, that way, because you want to be able to put it up in the cabinet. Without, okay, yeah, and they're just right there. I'm wondering if there's a good way to store these or do you all just put them in a Ziploc baggie like we no, do? No, they're sandwich cookies. I'm, oh, they're sandwich cookies. Yeah. I didn't read that they were sandwich cookies. There's a whole one. There's a whole one. Oh, okay. There's and they, they say bourbon on them. Yeah, I'm thinking of the bourbon is like the chocolate. The I bourbon just, is, is a type of chocolate. I never read on there that they were a sandwich cookie. Let me see if I can. Mm-mm. There you go. You gonna eat that one? Mm. Oh. I'll share it with you. It's very good. To me, it tastes like a really nice uh, chocolate, like a mm -hmm. hot chocolate chocolate. That's what that reminds me of. I don't know why. I think Keebler has a cookie that's similar to that. I got chocolate. No, maybe not. I yeah. like that a lot, but it, it, for some reason, it just reminds me of hot chocolate, and yeah. that's the flavor that. of it. That is so good. Mm -hmm. That would uh, that would also taste really good dunked in tea. That's what he or said. Or coffee. That's very good. We drink a lot of coffee. Well, I mean, I've been wanting coffee lately instead of tea. I think that'd be good dunked in a cup of coffee. Either too. one, I yeah. think, would be very good. I like those. Okay. Next, we have the Tesco Almond Fingers. These are a particular favorite of mine. They are made in the Netherlands and are similar to two Dutch bakes, Tano and Rondo. I'm probably saying that wrong. The first being the same shape, like a canoe, as the Almond Fingers. The second being the same recipe, but round. In fact, it seems that the Dutch are infatuated with almonds as they seem to have so many sweet bakes with them. 
I did not know that. Kind of like the Germans and hazelnut. Look how thick that is. Wow. <laughs> I thought it, maybe there was two of them on top of each other, but they're not. That's it's it. funny, there's only there's five of them. There's only a half an almond on, on each, each one. one. These are a hundred and 174. 174 each. So how do you determine do you try to save the almond for last? You I mean because the you can go ahead and eat the almond. You didn't get there. Let me silence her phone drop. <laughs> you didn't get the almond. Mm. Well, I'll take another bite. That is fantastic. I love the flavor. Well, how why? Yes, you do know why. It reminds you of a baked little tart. Mm -hmm. It's an almond uh, flour in there. Oh, that's so good. That is good. I'm not a huge fan of the almond, mm. but um, it's good. It's funny how, how much the almond tastes like cherry. It's just I funny. love that. That is crazy good. It is very good. I love this, the texture. It's very soft. It's almost like a piece oh, of cake. Oh, that is delicious. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. It's very crumbly though, so don't eat it in your car. No, yeah, it is crumbly. <laughs> no. That is awesome. Yeah, I those are very love good. That. Um, You'll enjoy those. Yes, very much. Because uh, I know Kevin won't eat any more of them. No, like I said, but, I like almond, but I don't like it that much. But I will. Yeah, I'll you love them. Absolutely enjoy those. Uh, yeah. That, well, out of the three, hands that down, favorite. that's, yes. Yeah. Yes. What was your favorite? I like the chocolate one awful lot. The chocolate's good. I, yeah. I, they're all good. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just that the malted milk are just plainer. That's all, yeah. you know? Uh, but for me, nothing can compare to those almond flavors. Yeah. I mean, that the is, almond ones probably have the most flavor of all of yes. them. It's just not a flavor that I gravitate towards. Right. I wish they sold those here because that yeah, they're very good. We'll have to look up a recipe. Maybe. Yes, that is very good. <laughs> so thank you so much, Jeff. I appreciate this very, very much. Um, I will have a picture for you all at the end. If you live in the United Kingdom, if you've tried those almond fingers, you're gonna have to let me know in the comments. Um, if you've made them yourself at home, um, Jeff said um, that he has a baking channel on YouTube. It's Jeff Cooper. Um, G. -E. It's G E O F F Cooper, and he bakes, and so he might have a recipe for those on his channel. That's I'll true. just have to look. So those are really good. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.